expecting some funny opening joke or opening sketch, but there isn't one today. Because bounty hunting is serious business, and it doesn't get more serious than a Mandalorian helmet. This is a simple design, and I literally threw it together five minutes before I started filming, so it's entirely possible that someone else came up with the same thing. If you did and you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal your design. I, please don't put me in carbonite. Huh, that was a joke. I'm the one who puts people in carbonite. Anyway, let's get a sheet of paper and let's start folding. Alright, so I'm going to be using a sheet of origami paper that's green on one side and white on the other. Um, ideally, this white side would be black just for best results. But if you don't have a sheet of paper that's duo colored like that, I would recommend maybe just painting the white side. In fact, I have a friend who painted some of my origami models a couple years ago and, you know, turned out pretty good. So don't be shy when it comes to mixing paper and paint. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So in order to start folding, we're just going to take this and fold it in half. And I should point out white side up or visor colored side up, whichever, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to unfold. And now what we're going to do is take this bottom edge closest to us and just fold it up to that center crease that we just made. And now we're going to rotate the paper around so that that little colored rectangle is on top. And then we're going to take this corner and fold it into the center. And uh, we can find the center just by taking this and folding it up basically as far as it'll go before it hits this green edge right here. So in case you need a closer look, it should look something like this. And then we're going to do the same th and then we're going to do the same thing on the left side here, but this one is much easier because we just need to take this uh, little corner here and fold it up to fill in that last remaining white portion. And there we go. If you did this right, then you should have no white left at all. All right, so now what we're going to do is just unfold those flaps again. Um, and then we're going to take this edge and just fold it in at an angle. So basically we're going to make a fold that starts at this point and then just runs somewhere out to this edge here. And the exact amount isn't important. Basically it's just however big you want the visor to be. So I'm just going to do it in a little ways just like this. And then we're just going to crease. So basically I took this little piece of paper here and brought it in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to find this point here and then we're just going to fold this uh, corner in just a little bit like this. All right, and once we have that, we're now going to make a fold just like this one, but on the side. So we're going to put our finger here. That just helps us crease a little bit neater. And then we're just going to fold this point in as well. And again, there's this is really just a judgment fold. Basically, you're just folding this in as far as you think looks good. And, um, you know, for no reason at all, I'm just going to fold this, this uh, corner into this point right here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And again, I'm just going to put my finger in the middle there and then just fold this flap in just a tiny ways, uh, just so that this point lines up with this edge that runs down from the midpoint there. All right, and once we have that, we've ended up with this weird little shape, but when we take these uh, corners and fold them back in, then you have this nice little uh, Mandalorian visor shape in the center of your uh, helmet, or what is now the helmet, I guess. All right, so now that we have the base of our mask done, we're just going to flip it over top to bottom so that we end up with this house shape like this. Then we're going to rotate it around so that the house kind of tips a little bit so that the roof is pointing toward the left. And then we're going to take this section and we're just going to fold it in a little ways. How far? Well, really the amount is up to you. So basically we have this midline point here. You can kind of imagine it running from the roof here all the way to the what used to be the foundation. And we're just going to fold maybe, um, you know, maybe about halfway to that like this. Anyway, so once we have it to taste, we're going to crease, and if you want, you can turn it over just to see how it looks. I think that looks okay, so now let's flip it over, and we still have our house. It's just kind of a little narrower on one side. So now what we're going to do is rotate it again, but this time so that the roof tips toward the right-hand side. And then we're going to take this bottom portion and again fold it up, and again we can imagine that midline crease right here. And if you want, you can just crease it to make a midline just by folding up like this just to help guide your folds a little bit better but I find it's not really necessary and plus then you have this big ugly crease right in the center of your visor but anyway um anyway getting back to folding we're just going to imagine that midline and then just fold up again just until we get a fold that looks good and then we're going to just crease that down 
And there we go, we can flip it over just to see how it looks, and there we go, the helmet is coming along nicely. Alright, so once we have this, in order to finish it up, basically all we need to do is just round out the top of the head here. And that is super easy, we're just going to turn it over so that we get that house back again. And we're just going to take these corners and fold them in. How far? Just however far looks good to you. And however far is symmetrical, I guess. Basically you just want to make both sides look the same, or at least as close to the same as you can. So then we're going to take the top point of the house here and we're just going to fold that down. And again that's just whatever looks good to you. And if we rotate it around here I guess we also get this uh, cool face on the back. We have some eyes and a mouth so so let's turn it back over and there we go the helmet is basically done we can also add a little more shaping though if you want what you can do is just um, take your fingers and then just pinch a sort of curved crease that runs from here all the way out to this edge here and that will just kind of help mimic the shape that the mandalorian's helmet has you just basically need to take the paper and just pinch along it like so and there we go and let's do the same thing on the other side we just need to pinch that around And there you go, your helmet is done, for real this time. Welcome back. I'm glad you were able to fold it. Wait, hold on. Ugh, that is so much better. Uh, yeah, man, I was getting kind of stuffy in that CGI helmet. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is a super simple design that I just kind of threw together using a piece of paper, so if, if you or someone you know came up with it, I apologize. I did not mean to steal your design. This was something that I just threw together, like I said. Um, anyway, yeah, so... Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all the other good stuff that keeps the lights on in the Origami Dojo. Or the sun shining today, I guess. Anyway, that's it for today. Subscribe, all the other good stuff that keeps Sam happy, and we'll see you next time.